set, 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 one, two, set, 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 set,
진행을 받던 반동혁 그리고 조현리 그와 인사드리 
저희 고등학교는 23년 전에 법으로 산자 굳세게 산자 뿌리르나 바르게 산자 라는 교육 안에 어, 그동안 묵묵히 이름 안 내세우고 풍선 띄우지 않고 어, 저희 동부사와 함께 성실히 자라왔습니다. 자, 오늘 저녁 특히 이 모임을 통해서 특히 2006년도 한 해를 보내는 마당에 지난날 저희가 했던 일을 돌이켜보고 또 성과를 다짐하면서 그리고 이에 따른 앞으로의 과제를 <웃음> 여러분과 함께 같이 상의할 수 있는 이런 좋은 자석을 마련해 주셔서 감사합니다. 그 자세한 업무 보고는 어, 그 다음 순서인 우리 윤대중 사무국장께서 자세히 말씀드리겠지만 특히 올해는 어, 한 5천, 5천 100여 명 가량의 저소득층을 위해서 저희가 교육 및 문화활동, 어, 이민자 권익활동을 위한 프로그램 등등 여러 활동을 해왔고 또 특히 어, 선거 때였던 올해 무려 만 8천여 명의 유권자 등록과 함께 어, 선거 참여를 위한 어, 해가지고 굉장한 저희 정치력을 신장할 큰 도움을 어, 가져왔던 해입니다. 이런 어, 여러 활동을 하기 위해서는 무엇보다도 이 조직적으로 어, 여러 사람이 함께 모여서 일사불란하게 일을 할수 있는 힘이 가장 어, 필요하다고 생각하는데 제가 옛날 이민 어, 월급을 만들어가지고 하나의 국경부 어, 탐험당을 상장 어, 이달에 통해서 말씀드리겠어요. 제가 어, 이민 온지 한 얼마 안 돼서 한 공장에서 쉬링크로우리 일하는 데가 있었습니다. 물건 들어오면 오도가 가져가고 물건 사서 어떤 데는 쉬링크로우리 나가고 어떤 데는 UPS 이런 걸 쉬링을 하는데 저하고 같이 일하는 동료 중에 하나가 어, 지금 제 나이쯤 됐죠. 저는 그때 한 20대였으니까요. 한마디로 입반지래요. 바빠서 찾아보면 없어지고 여기서 와서 한 2, 3 0분 있고 점심시간 되면 아카롱 가서 잠자다 들기 오고 그래서 저도 슬슬 화가 나가지고 호맨한테 가서 그래서 한마디 그냥 How come? 그때 제가 영어로 잘 못했지만 파이어 가는 데가 오더니 호맨이 웃으면서 하는 말이 이 회사 주인이 어, 주이신데 그때 러시아에서 많이 이민을 왔어요. 러시아 주의식들이요. 그래서 여기 주의식 커뮤니티에서 각 기업체들, 주의식 기업체들한테 몇 명씩 확당을 했답니다. 매개석이라 그래서 파이어를 못한대요. 제가 그 소리를 듣고 뭐, 참 대단하다 하는 이런 저희 이런 동사에도 뭐 물론 이미 동지가 수가 여러 있었지만 이러한 어, 것을 좀 보고서가 저희도 좀 배우는 자리가 하는 그런 생각을 했습니다. 또 보다 더 차원 높은 그 조직 속으로서 저희는 공부사를 위해서 일할 수 있는 계기가 더욱더 다음 오는 해 어, 말할 것입니다. 
그때 후반에 면접학교를 설득을 같이 하셨는데 지금 모신줄로 나의 힘, 나이를 드셔가지고 지금은 <웃음> 뒤에서 많이 저희들을 하고 계시고 또 이사장님을 잘 알고 다시 한번 한번 부탁드립니다. 그 다음 순서는요, 우리 윤대중 민주학교 사무국장님께서 한해 민주학교가 어떤 활동을 했고 또 어떤 후원들을 받았는지 간단하게 아마 인사를 드리고 소개를 해봅니다. Now I'd like to welcome Dejun Yoon, who is the executive director of the Korean Research Center. He's also a founding member of the Korean American Resource and Cultural Center. Yes, you did. Who 
서울시대 시카고에서는 범죄자로 규정된 유인자가 실제로는 인간적 존엄을 가진 존재를 자신하고 있는 대규모 시위가 노출했고 이어서 3월 25일 로스앤젤레스에서는 사상 최대의 인파가 거리에 집결해 행진했습니다. 4월 10일에는 다니엘트라는 미국 역사에서 최대 규모의 시위가 전국에서 벌어졌습니다. 
뉴욕 쪽하고 시카고 쪽하고 LA 쪽하고 그 지역에 활동하고 있는 그 청년 학교와 마당 지구의 활동을 비디오로 만든 겁니다. 또잘 보셨으라고 생각을 하죠. 이런 거 아마 어디서 다른 분들 굉장히 힘드실 거예요. 돈을 좀 썼거든요. 
period when our community collectively moved from a period of vulnerability to empowerment, Kormi Sanju walked that road with us. Tonight is the opportunity for the Korean American community to recognize Kormi Sanju, whose self-regard is a one-woman political operation. We know that she is blessed with powerful array of skills and assets. She's politically brilliant and intuitive, and she's quick-witted and caring. And she's no doubt a vibrant and irreplaceable leader in our community. the 
the Civil Rights Movement and Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and Cesar Chavez um, and the role that they play um, in, in fundamentally changing American society. Um, and I never knew, ever knew that there were any Asians there. But in college, uh, my thirst and hunger, I think, with the Civil Rights Movement uh, kept me studying and asking and I learned that there were Asian Americans there, like K.W. Lee and um, Warren Furtani. Uh, a woman that I admire and respect very much so that was very close to Malcolm X, Yuri Kotiyama. And they were, they were leading the fight for social equity for Asian Americans and all Americans. I was so proud to learn that we were there too. Um, so after learning about their role in struggle for, for justice and social change, that's when I held my head up high and decided that it was okay to be Asian American and I wanted to learn to organize my community. So in college I helped co-found an organization that some people here we're involved with called MASI, the Midwest Asian American Students Union, um, which is an organization really founded and began to organize Asian Americans that had a similar situation to me growing up in Kansas, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan. It's a little bit different than, than LA. And, um, and we began to organize and teach ourselves that we were there too. Uh, and then it, it was very empowering. I, nobody could tell me no. I then went on and Interned for the Indiana State Senate and successfully lobbied um, the governor and the state legislature as an intern to officially recognize Asian American Heritage Month. And um, uh, upon graduating from college, I uh, learned about the Asian Pacific American Labor Alliance. So my first job out of college was as a union organizer for SEIU Local 250, which is now SEIU United Healthcare Workers West. Um, Got a little homesick, um, so I knew I didn't want to go back to Indiana, but I did um, want to continue to organize, so I went to, to Chicago um, in the Midwest, and that's where um, I worked in Chicago's Chinatown. And as I alluded to earlier, that's when you Californians out here in 1994 were in the heat of it all and, and fighting against Proposition 187. Um, we were trying to hold the line up in uh, the good old Midwest and we're organizing our community um, on, on the immigration issues, holding candidate forms, going door to door, registering voters, tabling and creating grocery stores, um, uh, registering voters, and holding candidate forms. The first candidate form that I organized, I was so proud of it. There were hundreds of seniors, first immigrant seniors there, and um, not one elected official candidate showed up. That to me was about a lack of respect. So we still organized and we finally got a meeting later on with this unnamed elected official and, um, and he didn't attend. We brought seniors and activists there and we got a very condescending staff member. So it was that day that I made the decision that I was going to be the establishment of their own game. And so I was going to learn how to run a hardcore campaign Chicago style. And uh, I was going to do whatever it took and learn whatever I needed to make and go wherever I needed to go from Oklahoma to Detroit, Michigan to Las Vegas, Nevada um, and to many, many other states. And I was going to learn from the best of them so that when I thought I became good enough, I was going to be able to elect elected officials that respect us. They respect every single person that looks like you in this room. And if I ever decided to work with an elected official, which I then did, I was going to be the staff person that we're going to treat immigrants and workers and other groups that don't always have a strong 
loud voice or a powerful lobbyist with the dignity and respect that they deserve. Through my campaign experience, um, I learned the importance of electing progressive politicians. Again, I respect workers and communities without formal organized power. In Los Angeles, under the incredible activism of Green Lane and Durazo and the LA County Federation of Labor, um, I had the opportunity to become their political director for one of the most powerful labor organizations and political machines in the state of California. It's been there that alongside working men and women that we were able to elect real warriors for working families. Some of them that are here tonight are new state controller, John Chung. <laughs> Assembly member, Mike Gay. <laughs> and Assembly member, Kevin Didio. <laughs> so I want to thank all of you for, for being here with us and for the elected officials in here for walking that walk in solidarity with us. I know firsthand experience that it takes guts to be different, it takes courage to take ownership and keep on organizing and never give up. On the most challenging campaign, it's not always whether you win or lose, but it's every single small victory along the way. It is clear that many of the people in this room are doing that. It is the students that went to New Orleans and also organized their communities in the Immigrant Rights March that will continue to lead the way for all of us in the community. It is the worker that, that risks everything that, that he or she has and knows they've got two or three kids at home, and you're still going to march in on the boss for a union contract, because you know that, that means that your entire community, your entire family, will be that much better off. And it, it often has the quality of, of life and middle class that, that all of us are, are striving for. So in closing, I um, finally closing, want to acknowledge, I actually want to acknowledge workers from Good Sam Hospital that are here this evening with us. On February 1st, 2006, Dolores Mission held a press conference to be 
begin a month of fasting and prayer as part of the struggle for comprehensive immigration reform. Parishioners actively participated in the immigration movement by marching in the spring march, mass mobilizations, providing testimony. 